time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm just going to take a stab at it, Regis. I'm going to say Paula Cole. He actually got it right Whoa! for $16,000. Oh, my gosh. You got it for $64,000. He got it right again <laughs> for $125,000. All the lifelines were gone at $8,000. I'm going to go with Turkey A, and I'm going to make that my final answer. Yes, it's turkey. You got it for a half million dollars. Yes. Regis, I have to be honest. I'm just, I don't know it. And I wouldn't do this unless I was 100% sure. The winner is Frank Tangretti. Oh. Now, join us from New York for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Well, if you missed Tuesday night, you missed Phil Gibbons and the greatest millionaire comeback of all time. Out of lifelines at $8,000, this fighting Irishman battled his way all the way back to a half million dollars. And if you were watching and thinking, yeah, yeah, you know, I could do that, well, get ready. The phone lines are opening on Sunday. So give us a call, and you can wind up here just like food connoisseur Frank Tangredi did. Frank won the fastest finger uh, question. It was all about snack food. Yeah, something I know a lot about. Yeah. You're, you're a snacker, are you? I'm trying to stop, but I may start again. <laughs> it's nice to see you. We didn't have a chance to talk. What do you do for a living, Frank? I'm a social studies textbook editor. Oh, really? Well, yeah. that's going to come in handy today, I would think. Well, with any luck, yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. how long have you been doing that? I've been doing that uh, for about 12 years now. Uh-huh. And I love it. Good. I absolutely love it. It's nice. And, and your wife, Pamela, sitting right there behind you. Hi, Pamela, how you doing? You're speaking Gaelic? Are you? Yeah. You're an Irish. Irish, Irish lady. Oh. And you married this Italian gentleman. My mother and father were Irish and Italian, too. Yeah. They That's say it makes the prettiest children. Is that right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like you. <laughs> Pamela is an interesting lady in her own right, Frank. She is a massage therapist. Lucky man. Uh, when saying. is the last time you got a rub down? Well, actually, she did my hands yesterday before the fast, before we came on. Oh, the fastest finger. Yeah, she said she wanted to make sure I was limber. <laughs> but and also, in general, also always. she's a volunteer firefighter out in uh, uh, East Farmingdale, uh, Long Island. Good for you. Thank you. All right, Pamela, nice to have you here, Frank. Good luck to you. Uh, you're doing quite well. You've won $2,000 already. You're nine questions away from winning $1 million. You know how we play, hey, Frank. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. You have all of your lifelines left to help you out. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. So, Frank Tangretti, if you are ready, ready shall we do it? Let's, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, studio audience, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. $4,000, Frank. Nine away from a million. Here it is. James Herriot, author of the 1972 book, All Creatures, Great and Small, was a professional what? Physicist, marine biologist, veterinarian, anthropologist. Thank you, honey. She made me watch these shows. The answer is C, veterinarian. Final, Final answer. answer. Yes, and it's a good one. You're right. $4,000. Eight away. Here it comes. $8,000. Check it out, Frank. What singer, known for her African headdresses, appeared in the 1999 film The Cider House Rules? Was it Chaka Khan? Erica Badu? Lauren Hill? Mary J. Munch? I know, I know this because of her appearance on the Oscars this year, and that's why I know it's B. Erica Badu. Final? Final. Nailed it again for $8,000, Erica Badu. You know, you're kind of a hip guy, you know that? That's what everybody tells me. Yeah. <laughs> Seven away from a million, hasn't touched a lifeline left, and here it is for 16000 
Which of the following comedians did not star in the 1986 movie Three Amigos? Steve Martin, Martin Short, Billy Crystal, Chevy Chase. Martin Short. Yeah. I'm trying to picture that with the big hats on. Yeah. Sitting All right. The, the answer is C. Billy Crystal. Final answer. Final answer. You're right, Billy wasn't with them. Very exciting, Frank. How are you feeling, okay? I think I'm gonna faint. Yeah. <laughs> we thought you were gonna faint when you won that fastest figure. You know, everybody's been telling me they love the look on my face. I have no idea what it was. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have it to wait. It's sort of like an angelic theatrical yeah. vision you were having there. Uh. No lifelines used left. Here, six away from a million. Going for 32,000. Important one, Frank. Watch it. Albion is the ancient name for what country? England. Iceland. Switzerland. Finland. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Albion. Albion. I don't know if I'll be on the show after this. <laughs> on fire! <laughs> I have to make a call on this one because I'm not sure. I think that's why. Anybody on your list? Uh, I'd like to call Kathy. Not Kathy Lee. Do you think she'd know? Uh, no, I, no, I don't. <laughs> You're Kathy. What does she do? Uh, she's a co-worker in uh, so the social studies department. Oh, great. Okay, fine. All right, AT&T, we need Kathy on the line right now. Hello? Kathy? Yes? Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi. I'm here with your pal, Frank Tangretti. Great. And he needs your help. We're going for $32,000 here, so it's very important, okay? Okay. He's going to come on the line and read you the question that is stumping him. He'll give you the four possible answers, and we hope you come up with the right one. All right, Frank, it's all yours. 30 seconds, right now. Albion, A-L-B-I-O-N, is an ancient name for what country? England, Iceland, Switzerland, or Finland? England. Is that definite, Kathy? Yes. It's definite. Thank you. God bless you. I should have known that. Of course you should. Of course I should have. But I will say, I will go with Kathy. She knows. A. England. Boy, she sure sounded sure of herself. Well, and I think she's right. And the final answer? Final answer. She was right. It's England. Win. Now Mazda and ABC present a tribute. Play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on ABC's Enhanced TV at ABC.com where you can enter for a chance to win this new Mazda tribute. squared from energizer a whole new battery with a heart of titanium that lets you take power to the next level who would think that the sports car you've always dreamed of would turn out to be an suv the mazda tribute coming soon
been hired been out, huh? to lead the U.S. government to $42 million in gold. Everyone is waiting. Everyone is watching. Everyone knows what's happening, except Alvin. Uh, but no, y yes, sir. It well, depends on what you... Jamie Foxx is Bait, Rated R. Starts Friday, September 15th. The company that reinvented the Roadster has reinvented the SUV. If you can't wait for it to hit the road, hit our website. The Mazda Tribute. Coming soon. Now that my son's a bit older, I can share advice with him. About women, for example. It's really important to remember that when you really like a girl, you should play cool. Women are much more interested if a man isn't a sure thing. It's true. Dead. That's my advice. Frank Tangretti from West Babylon, Long Island, in New York, on the hot seat right now and doing quite well. You know, there's more to you, Frank, than meets the eye, and there's a lot that meets the eye, too, but uh, yeah, what I I'm that saying... One coming is that not only are you a book editor, but you're an actor as well. Yes. And a singer and yes. a performer in the theater out there in Long Island. Yes. I do about five shows a year of different types, musicals, comedies, dramas. Everything from the Pirates of Penzance to The Sound of Music. Uh, do you sing? Uh, yes. I'm playing uh, Max, the friend. L love to hear you sing just a couple of lines. Okay. You know, Max has two songs in the play that aren't in the movie, so... Uh, this is for a little, my part from No Way to Stop It. While somersaulting at a cockeyed angle, we make a cockeyed circle round the sun. And when we circle back to where we started from, another year has run. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop no it. To if stop the earth either. wants to roll around the sun, you're a fool if you worry, you're a fool if you worry over anything but little number one. Just can't beat a good love song. But anyway, okay, Frank. All right, now we're getting into some serious money here. We're going for 64000 We're five away from a million. Here it comes. Let's play. If a wine label reads 12 proof, what percentage of the wine is alcohol? 12%? 24%? I don't drink. I'm hoping a lot of people in the audience do. But let, let, let me take a look. Yeah, I think you're going to be safe. Okay, then let's ask the audience. Okay. All right, audience, we need some help here. On your keypad, Using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Kind of split there between 12% and 6%, but 12% uh, has got the upper hand. 44% to 34%. I knew this, enough of this at one time to know that it's not the same number. So I'm pr I had eliminated 12 in my head. This is a free, this is a free this choice. This is a free one, but you're also, you still have one more lifeline. You can narrow it down to two, if you would like. Let's do that. Narrow let's it down make to it, two? Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right, fine. Uh, computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please, leaving Frank one wrong answer and the correct answer. Well, is it double or is it half, I guess, is the... Well... I'll go with what I'll go with what the it's, it, uh, one or the other. I will go with what the audience said on that since it was left, and I'll say D six percent since twenty four percent alcohol sounds like a real big amount. Mm -hmm. So let's go with D six percent. Final, final answer. Thank you, audience. He just won sixty four thousand dollars. <laughs> Okay, great 10, Greddy. All the lifelines are gone. 
but we're going for 125,000, which is four away from a million. Ready to go, Frank? Ready to go. Here it is for $125,000. Who is the only author to win the Pulitzer Prize in both the fiction and non-fiction categories? John Steinbeck, Norman Mailer, Gore Vidal, Peter Matheson. Another question about books. I believe Steinbeck won for fiction for The Grapes of Wrath and for nonfiction for Travels with Charlie. I think that, I think that's the truth. A John Steinbeck. Final. Final. Ah, Norman Mailer. Norman Mailer. Well, you did win $32,000, Frank, and here it is. Here it is, my man, and good luck to you. Thank you. See you, dog. Yeah, it was Norman Mailer. He won the Pulitzer for nonfiction for Armies of the Night back in 1969 and the Fiction Prize in 1980 for The Execution of Saul. Well, what a great contestant he was. Sad to see the great Tangretti go. Right now, we've got a brand new group of contestants who called our 800 number and wound up here. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. They are Tony D'Orazio, Rochester, New York. Steve Haggerty, Weehawken, New Jersey. Nick Meyer, Berkeley, California. Mike Forrest, Fishers, Indiana. Jed French, Yarmouth, Maine. Mike Polazar, Rooseville, Indiana. Carla Gorell, Lockhart, Texas. Larry Alden, Gilderland, New York. Dick Glazer, Greensburg, Indiana. Okay, everybody ready? Why do we do it? Audience, we need complete silence here. Here's tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these philosophers in geographic order by the country of their birth, starting in the U.S. and going east. Confucius, Hobbes, Plato, Nietzsche.